Okay, so the third essential movement as you age that you want to make sure that you have intact is your ability to pick things up uh, properly. And so we're going to show that to you um, just using something that is uh, something you can practice with you got laying around your house. In this case, we have a laundry basket here, um, but this can be done with a lot of things. Basically, we just want you to know the fundamentals of how to pick things up properly. And then once you learn that, um, then it doesn't really matter what object you're using because it's all the same as it relates to how to do it. So we're gonna show you the bad way to pick something up and then we're gonna show you how to practice this, okay? So notice how her legs are straight and she's just sort of leaned over. Her back is really rounded. Okay, this is bad. Go ahead and stand on up. You don't wanna pick up heavy stuff like this because you're just not set in position where the, the muscles are actually gonna carry any of the load. And that's a dangerous thing. Instead, what we want you to do is we want you to learn how to set your back and your midline properly before you execute any sort of lift. And what that would look like is the following. Okay, notice how her back is more flat now and her knees are slightly bent, her belly's tight, and now you should stand up with it, okay? Doing this movement several times, let's say you just stand up five or six times or even seven to 10 times, okay? Practicing just like this every day is gonna help continue to develop and maintain your strength to be able to do this, provided you're doing it properly. So let's show you how to set your back and this is just something that you can do on the floor if you can get down there, okay? So, the way that you do this, so from this position, what we, the, the first position we wanna show you is that bad position. And the way that you practice this is by tucking your chin down, okay? Pressing your shoulders up to the sky and then rolling your hips underneath you as much as you can. And then going from this position to just the opposite position, making more of a saddle broken horse position by pulling our chest up, rotating the pelvis back and creating more of an arch in the back. Okay, now do the other one, Catherine, just going back and forth on your own, go ahead and come back, just like this. For a total of 10 repetitions is a great way to set and learn how to set your back. Okay, and then from here to feel yourself, get your back in the right position, what we'd recommend is just look down to the ground and then with that arch in your back, just flex your abdominals hard. So actually come back the other way, Catherine. So from here, just arms straight, and then just flex your belly, tighten up your, your abdomen. And now your back is in a good position to pick things up. Okay, so notice what's happening here. Now, Catherine, go ahead and come on up. Okay, try to feel that when you set up here. Notice how this is the exact same thing that you just saw uh, from the ground and then pull through your heels and stand up. Again, we want you to pull through your heels on this, not your toes, okay? Again, just practicing this with the basic object like a laundry basket, just developing that strength and keeping your hamstrings under tension um, is gonna be very beneficial for you to preserve this very basic and essential movement as you get older.